And what's over here? Um, all the beer and wine that we sell. Why, why you see the dust on top of there? Everything's so dusty. Who's in charge of cleaning? I'm slacking on my job. I appreciate the odd uh, speckle of dust on the wine, the wine cellar, but not, not like this. Wow, and look at that. When is that from? 1980 <laughs> what? You laugh, but it is a little out of date, right? Oh, yeah, definitely out of date <sighs> and dusty. Dusty? The actual TV was on. You couldn't see it because of the dust. Um, so it looks like it was high-end to build, really expensive. But yes. It doesn't look like we've had enough money going back into it to keep it sort of... Where, how it, where yeah, it needs to be. Where it needs yeah, to how be. it should be, right. And what's over here? Um, oh, one of the wedding. weddings we had on the property. This place must be packed. They do 30 to 50 a year. Who runs those? Melody is our events coordinator. And she's a specialist in events and... Um, she was never, like, trained or anything, but How she can goes... you run events if you're not been trained? Common sense sometimes prevails. Mm. Now, what's that there? Landell's Mohegan Castle, win a night stay. Mm -hmm. Stop. You know how many people want a free night? Seriously? Seriously, yeah. We try to do it once a month. Shall I do one? Yes, please. <laughs> Love this. Love it. <laughs> Ready? So... All right. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, is there a cell number on there? Um, thank you. Answer machine. Chuck, congratulations. You have won yourself a free night stay at Landol's Mohican Castle, courtesy of me, Gordon Ramsay. Free dinner? Dinner's not included, now. Oh, Chuck, I'm so sorry. I don't want to piss on your bonfire, but there's no dinner involved. But I'll pay for dinner, Chuck. Best wishes. He's going to be so happy when he hears that fucking he is. message. <laughs> yes, there we he go. Is. He's going to be floored. Excellent. Uh, amazing, man. It's cluttered and it's dusty. Damn. So you've been here 10 years. What other problems? Just little things here and there that need to be updated. Most of it's still from when we opened originally, so okay. 13 years old. Now, the owner is no longer involved with the business. He's left it to his ex-wife. Marta, Marta, Jim's ex-wife. Mm -hmm. Right. She runs it now with her son, who's the general manager. Correct. Right. And what's his strengths? Um, I can't tell you business-wise, management-wise, if Jimmy really, in my opinion, has any right. strengths at this point. He has the title of general manager, but I don't think he really fully right. has that role of general manager yet. And he went off to train at hotel school. Where did he come from? No. Jimmy has no training outside of high school. Marta? Does she? No. She has no training. He has no training. Who's more hands-on? Marta is hands-on. Marta. Marta is here, there, and everywhere. And she, wow. she's like the busy bee that never stops. Is she around? Um, I'm sure she's on the property, let me. Thank you. Um, I'm, uh, I'm going to just check around outside, and I look forward sure. to uh, seeing Marta. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, is Marta down there? Wow, this place costs a fortune. What is up here? OK, can you send her up? Gordon would like to meet her. Look at that. Wow. What in the fuck is that over there? Is that a T-Rex? What is that thing? Yeah. Ugh. Bloody hell. Look at that. So you relax and take your cigarette breaks. Oh, Jesus Christ. And all these flies. That is disgusting. This is a place where people come to relax. What? Man, that's gross. Seriously. Ugh. Oh, horrible. The boss man caught it. And where's the other half gone? <laughs> Maybe they ate it. Belt, I don't know. Pair of shoes. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. It is a What'd little weird. What do you use it for? I don't use it for anything, actually. Wow. And what's that up there? That was here when I got here, believe it or not. That's for sale. Apparently so. Yes. So he went onto the beach, picked uh -huh. up some driftwood, and then mm -hmm. dipped it in some varnish. Yep. Oof. <laughs> $22. Uh-huh. Stop. Same as that one over there. No. <laughs> Insane, no? <laughs> Have you sold any of these? No. Never. No. <laughs> Seriously. And how much for the T-shirts? Between $12 for employees and $18 for guests. So staff have to pay for their own T-shirts? Yes. And for the guests, they're $18? Yes. Wow. So when was the last time you sold a T-shirt? I sell them every day, but mostly to um, the employees. The employees. <laughs> yes. How long have you been here? The establishment's been here almost three years. I've been wow. here almost three years as well. What's wrong with it, from your um, point of view? Noise levels, you know, especially the one directly above the restaurant that... What kind of noise? Because it's not the... The music and the people, the foot traffic, everybody wow. hanging out at the bar and things wow. of that nature. So that restaurant. goes on directly underneath? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. They end up being refunded, and then they end up putting us on blast on all of these, you know, websites and social media and just bad reviews left and right. Housekeeping, come back. What's that for? Touch base with the housekeepers. Wow. Have a good word. Um, just out of interest, uh, it's Gordon here, I've just checked in. How far away are the fucking rooms? I mean, you sound like you're miles away. Hello, madam? <laughs> you scared her. So, room 16. Yes, um, sir. And where is it, please, darling? I'm gonna direct you. Right this way. What's that thing there? We grill our wings on it. You grill your wings on it? Yes. How often do you grill wings in there? Every stinking day. Wow, Jesus. In fact, I think there's a wing left in there. <laughs> when was that grilled? Chances are it could have been yesterday. Those are the extra crispy ones. <laughs> and who's responsible for this? The kitchen handles all of this end of it, of course. You found another charbroiled. And these were done yesterday? I believe so. And they cook every day on here? Yes. And are the customers still alive? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> right, room 16. Let's yes, go. sir. This is your Caribbean building. The Caribbean. Caribbean, Caribbean, yes. Um, uh huh. What These part the... of this resembles the Caribbean? I think it's more so because of the view. Oh, the view. Right here, sir. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Whew. Look at this. Wow. It stinks in here. There's a very sort of damp, musty smell. Bloody hell. Oh, the bed feels like it's 15 years old. Oh, it smells. Curtains are terrible. Oof. The place is filthy. Really bad. Absolutely disgusting. $180 a night for this shit all. Oof. Wow, mini bar consisting of absolutely fuck all. Freezer, over frozen and defrosted about 10 years ago. What a mess. I feel like somebody that's here to kind of cover the extra hours. However, I do still get to listen to the complaints. I don't know if you know, Mandy, but there's a bulb missing there. Probably. Um, oh. um, Jim likes to take bulbs out of things so people can't turn lights on, so. Jim likes to take bulbs? Yes, Jim likes to take bulbs. Wow. So, take the bulb out. <laughs> Place in a madhouse. Oh, hello. Hi. Finally. Finally. And first name is? Vanda. Vanda. Pleased to meet you. Likewise, Gordon, good to see you. I'm Rena. Rena, nice to see nice you. Nice to meet you. Sisters. Yes, yes. And owners. Yes. If you don't want me asking, I mean, you look very young to be running a hotel. How old are you? I'm 27. Wow, baby. I'm 32. Wow, babies. <laughs> um, and you both run it together? Yes. So Mandy multitasks, she does the she, Restaurants. She's um, actually the general manager. Wow. General manager, head waitress, and she looks like a busser. I'm not happy with her work. It's really difficult to find people who are motivated to work and who want to live to live up to our standards. What room are we in? You are in our oh. best room. The Melody of Love. Yes. Do you hear people shagging in the next door? <laughs> no? You must hear something. <laughs> wow. Holy mackerel. Is that mold in there? I, I wouldn't that? be surprised if it were mold. Uh, where's the uh, wardrobe so I can hang my jacket the up? The wardrobe, um, right you know, over right there. there. Oh, right. That's, yeah, okay. kind of hidden behind that the have. microwave and moldy wow. refrigerator. Jesus. I'm feeling really nervous right now. I know that the room was really cluttered, but I didn't realize it was that bad. Well, at least we have a light bulb. There's a man that goes around nicking light bulbs out of the lamps. Mandy said that he doesn't want them turned on. Some guy called Jim. Jim. Our father Good. takes light bulbs out of the lamp. He's your father. Yeah. Mum works in the business as well. Our mom, mom kind of goes around and um, helps clean up after people's mess. Are they owners as well? They're I mean, investors. They're investors. They're investors. So your parents bought you this place? Yes. The moment we saw this place, I knew I had to have it. So I found every single way possible to convince my daddy. No matter what I had to do, I just had to have it. I personally think they could have gotten it for cheaper. And they probably should have. <laughs> uh, what do you two do all day if mum and dad are hands-on? So I what's do, your role? I do the bookkeeping. I do the front desk in the evening. There was one day, Gordon, I had to man the dining room and the front desk. Oh, that was, was big just, sis. I don't know where you were. I think you are in Minneapolis or something. Minneapolis? What were you doing back there when you just bought a hotel? I actually needed some time to be alone and figure things out. So you take two weeks away. Then what happened? 
She wasn't gone for two weeks. She was gone for three months. Three months? She was gone for three months. After being open for six weeks. I've heard your role. What do you do? I'm seriously still confused what my role is here. I feel Shit, like what? I don't understand. You I don't own know the place. You don't right. know what your role is. I feel like a bunch of gas bubbles are just flying all over, molecules and atoms just everywhere right now. <laughs> Did you stay here before you bought it? I stayed here. Um, How I, many times? Uh, once. Once? You stayed one fucking night. Overnight. Uh, do, did you stay in here? No, not here, in the other room, down the hall. Show me, down please. This is actually my favorite room. OK, and this is it. So we stayed so in this room. You stayed in this room. This is even worse than my room. Pea stains all over the disgusting wallpaper, holes in the wall here. Why is this hotel in such a state? We have a lot of problems yeah. with the staff. It, it, it's so hard, Gordon, to just repeat myself. What are the problems? Rudeness, unprofessionalism. There is a chronic disease here of complaining and bitching. So we've got a big problem with the staff. Yes, we do. You're welcome for the jobs. You're welcome for the tips. You're welcome. You're welcome. Morning, sir. Hey, good How are morning. You? How are you? Good to see you, Gordon. Good to see you, and I'm David Gordon. David, nice to see you. Well, I finally found the place. That is so confusing there. You know that? There's no sign on Main Street. I drove straight by. And see them on the corner of the building? A tiny sign saying it's historic. That, that's what's historic about oh, it. That's, it's, that's... it's historically been a bad entrance. Now, we have you in an executive king room. And then here's two keys for you, because I'm giving you two because men don't follow instructions as well as women. Okay. Or in case you get lucky, hell yes. <laughs> So you're a hands-on owner. Uh, you run the desk all by yourself? My wife is the chef. She's taught herself. You can meet lady? Well, can I finish my spiel? Oh, I thought you already finished. So uh, breakfast is included. We do have fresh cut fruit. That's nice to know, fresh cut fruit. We, what would uh, be the alternative? Canned? No. Uh, no fruit, I think. Oh. Would be the <laughs> I love your sense of humor. <laughs> it's dry and very funny. Fresh cut fruit for breakfast. Yes, sir. Nice. Now, I just want you to know I'm not always at the desk. OK. But you'll be able to recognize me even if I'm walking away from you, because I'm the one who looks like he's riding a chicken. Riding a chicken? Yeah. I've never ridden a chicken. You have to show oh. Well, you just have to look at my legs. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get Suki, OK? OK, great. That poor chicken. OK, now. I've got a guest that wants to meet you. Oh, okay. uh oh, what do you do with that? I am making tamago. Gordon is here to help us out, and I'm terrified, but at the same time, I, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh. Hi. Hello. How are you? Nice to see you. And don't worry, I've had worse than wet hands. Nice to meet you. I washed my hands. Uh, that's very kind. Thank you for that. Uh, and Thank you. Suki, right? Nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. <laughs> What's it like working with your wife? I love my wife, so it's <laughs> nice to be around her until she gets her nose out of joint. She has a chef's temperament. If okay. you're not familiar with it, right, they, well. they can fly off the handle pretty easy. What's your background? I'm a hotel guy. I was in Vietnam, and I went to so hotel, to hotel school. So you qualified uh, as a hotelier? Well, so in my view, yeah. Well, that's great. That's good, good to hear. <laughs> Graduated with a major in hotel and restaurant management, and I've been in the business almost 40 years. So in a nutshell, what's wrong with the hotel? That's a question. We're not sure. <clears throat> we don't think it's a quality issue. Uh, neither for our rooms or our food and, and beverage. Why don't you both show me to the room? OK. I've been a general manager of a lot of hotels. I eventually became a turnaround guy to take on problem properties. So my big surprise here is that I'm having a hell of a time trying to turn this thing around. We just call it an executive oh. king. Oh, dear. OK. This is it. Yes, sir. What is that, swing? It's uh, leather, but it's a uh, rough leather and very difficult to clean. And it's so bland. I mean, it's like a cheap motel chain. I feel like I'm in the witness protection program. This is depressing here. So when was the last time the roof were touched? 
2003. 2003, so 10 years ago. Yeah. It feels like something out of the 1970s. Our hotel rooms are dated, you know, we try to call it period furniture. Yeah, I don't know what to say. It always tells you that a place is on the decline when you walk in, you've got walls that are a mess, scuffs everywhere, and big marks on the sofas that you're expected to pay good money to sit down in. So far, I'm not digging it. Hello? It's like this place hasn't been finished off inside. Hello? 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 Where are the guests supposed to sit? Hey, hey, hello. What are you doing, Martin? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I thought you'd gone. No, I was uh, just hanging out. Uh, sorry, I didn't catch your first name. Richard. Richard. But around here, they kind of call me Pawbutt. Pawbutt? Pawbutt. Pawbutt. We're just butlings, all of us are in around here. Do you normally run from the desk? This bell goes to my room. OK. And then when music starts coming, I turn it over. Music? The music program we're going to do tonight. Uh, so there's a music, there's a band playing tonight? Yes. And then we'll probably jam out later okay. in, in the butt hut. What, what is the butt hut? Just help me. Understand. Would you like to see the butt hut? <laughs> uh, I'd love to see the butt hut. <laughs> OK. Yeah, please. this is where you run the reception from, the butt hut. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is the butt hut. This is where me and Troopy hang out. <coughs> Troopy, get up. Smell. What is that smell? Uh, incense. Smell? They're right here. Incense. Yes, that is a strong incense. fucking incense. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Yeah. But that doesn't smell like the smell I've just smelled. Yeah, it's herbs. It's a medicinal herb. I love herbs, especially the freshness of them. You can use it for cooking if you want to do a really nice fettuccine. OK. Was it like uh, a basil? This is, yeah, it's like a basil. Wow. It has a nice smell to it. Fuck me. That's definitely not basil. Is this cannabis? Yes. So we smoke pot. Poof, that's what I could smell the minute I came in here. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Is this legal here? Yes. I use uh, medicinal herb. Before you put your hands back in that cookie jar, do you mind if I see my room? It's uh, get a bit late. Oh, oh. Huh? I'm so, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm done for a while. Oh, OK, you're done yeah, for a while. Yeah, I'm medicated. Okay. Like, you know, so you... how do I get to the room? I'll show you. This is a first. The owner of this lodge is as high as a kite. Wow, look at this place. He probably hasn't even noticed the place has no furniture. This is the cattleman room. Cattleman room, thank you. Yeah. It smells like cattle in here. Wow. What happened to the carpet? Did the dog have an accident? You know, we party a lot here, so you're going to have liquor. Who knows what's on these carpets, right? What is that? That's just bugs. A oh, bugs? Bloody hell. Yeah. Oh. And a crispy, dirty long leg. That's disgusting. And this is your view out here. No, I didn't notice the view because of the carpet. My God, what a stunning location. It's paradise. It truly is. Yeah, I'll say. I mean, this place is stunning. Shame it's so filthy, Richard. So the bedroom's up here, right? Right. What in the hell has happened to this carpet? I haven't been up oh, there in a while. There's more stains on this carpet than inside Hugh Hefner's fucking wife rooms. Oh, yeah, I told you, they party in here. No, but every, how? I mean, how many come? Look at this carpet. Every room's got those stains on them, you know? And what about the cover on the bed? When was that from? 1970? You yeah, have talked to Joanna about that. Joanna, that's your wife? Ex-wife. Ex oh, damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. She right. wants to be a business. Which she should be. Uh, it's not a business to me. Don't ask me finances, because I would be lying if I told you I knew anything. I don't. Let's catch up later. I'm going to unpack uh, yeah. my bags. OK, OK. Cool. Uh, uh, thanks for the update. This place is disgusting. Wow. And it's hardly surprising seeing that the owner doesn't see it as a business. I need some fresh air. Thank he me. clearly doesn't care about paying guests. Kids, don't do drugs. You'll end up like that. They say all publicity is good publicity. But with the billboard that old fashioned, I'm not so sure. You're fucking joking, aren't you? Come on. <laughs> Roosevelt Inn, bed and breakfast. It's like something out of the Adams family. Roosevelt School. The place looks grim from the outside. Hello. Welcome to the Roosevelt. Good to see you. I recognize that voice. You're Gordon Ramsay. Okay. Well, <laughs> good to see you. My God, look at those chairs there. Are they from the school? They are. Those came out of the first grade classroom. Well, look, you almost fit. A, a reception for dwarfs or just. <laughs> first impression from the outside. It's almost like walking into a funeral parlor. Oh. It smells like shit as well. What is that? Is that... Did the dog do a... Oh, boy, I sure hope not. 
Oh, Rohan, Jesus, man. Jesus. This is our dining room. Who's the chef here? I saw a billboard of a guy with the most hideous hat on, <laughs> covered in trees and, like, this six-foot yes. hat. That's me. It's kind of uh, grown into Jean-Pierre, the mad French chef of the Roosevelt. Because you're in Coeur d'Alene, is a French named town, you know, so we must cook the fabulous food, wear this outfit. <laughs> now, you'll see uh, school photos yes. down the hallway here, and these are of kids that went to school here at the Roosevelt, and the ones with the arrows pointing at the really cute, adorable little boy. That's me, of course, because I went to school here. Oh, you went to school? My now? elementary school. Who wants to live in their old school? It's like getting a detention that never ends. The guests get to hang out down here with the dogs and watch TV. You are kidding me. You can't smell those dogs? Oh, yes, I can. The dogs, actually, believe it or not, Gordon, are one of the highlights here. Now you're sounding deluded. What's next? Our little ballroom or our multi-purpose room. Oh, come on. Rohan, you're not supposed to be in this room. Don't you think this place could at least had some form of makeover? Well, sadly, Gordon, we renovated this room four years ago. This is new. Stop. No. This room looks like it was last decorated in 1908, not 2008. And how much did you spend on this? 54,000. 54,000? Five, four. Yeah. Not 5,400, 54,000. Yeah, I know, lovely, huh? Christ almighty. And does it generate money? No. I can't believe anyone would want to rent that space. It's hideous. I'm dying to have a look upstairs. It can't get any worse. It could get worse. And what's your uh, occupancy across the year? Probably around mid-20s. 20% 20 across the board. Ouch. <laughs> I am amazed you find it so funny. This is your room. OK. What's with all the pink? It's like someone threw up strawberry milkshake all over the place. My room has two levels, each as bad as the other. Oh. Everything looks like we're in a time warp. I mean, it's so dated. So, my room, how much did you pay to stay in here? Uh, $319. $319. Bloody hell. I'm speechless. 13-year-old <laughs> decor, $319 a night. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Fire away. Why do you think everything's a big joke? Because you're very critical. I'm here to get this place right. But what I don't understand is how blasé you are to the situation. I'm going to give you the truth. And if you don't like that, then I'm out of here. What do you want me to do? Get no, angry just... and punch nah. you? You want to punch me? Uh, you go well, first. Maybe I do want to punch you a little bit. But I can become physically very, very violent and have, in the past, people get hurt. There's your keys. John. John! Uh, Gordon. And your first name, sorry? My name is Brittany. I'm the Brittany. manager. I have you in room mm -hmm. 117. That is $105 mm -hmm. during the weekday and $135 on the weekend. OK. I think Gordon's first impression of the hotel is going to be, what the fuck are these people doing? The Cambridge Hotel, RIP. Yeah. Seriously? Yes. It's died, you mean? No. Rest in peace is the ghost that ha live here. We are haunted. Oh, come on. There's a little girl who supposedly haunts the hotel. Alice. 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 Oh, my good yeah. God. Yeah. She looks like something out of The Exorcist. She was four years old in 1913. When she died? But I believe in ghosts at the hotel. I absolutely believe in them. I'm gonna go yeah. up the stairs. They're creaky as well. And, oh, God. Uh, are they the owners? No, I don't know who they are. Those have been are. here. This place is littered with freaky pictures. Yes. So, what's upstairs there? That is our third floor. Why is that roped off? Do because it is not accessible to our guests. Is that where the ghosts are? Well, that's where people say they are. If he goes up on the third floor, he is going to freak out. This is your room. Oh, my God. Bloody hell. Look at the wallpaper. What's the uh, post up there? What is that? Just there. So there's no handcuffs? <laughs> no, OK. So, so it's not a sex thing? <laughs> it is not a Which sex thing. It's a really thing. weird thing no. to have in the bed. I know. So you stand there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> well. Shit. <laughs> Welcome shit. to the Cambridge Hotel. Thank you. Christ almighty. I, I am not going to forget this day in a hurry. Horrible linen. Rough and nasty, holes. 
Look at that. And the bed doesn't even fit the base. Honestly, I've seen better linen inside hospitals. Horrible. My bedroom is dated and uncomfortable. How could anyone think this was good enough for paying customers? Bye-bye. Can I meet the owners? Yes, I'll be right back with the owners. Look how dead they are. Gordon, <laughs> this is Tina and John Tina. Imhoff. I'm nice Tina. to see you. Nice to Gordon. see you. Nice to meet you, Sir John. Likewise, good to see you both. It's quite amazing when you drive up and you see this sort of statue of the building. It's... Yes, sir. Isn't it beautiful? It's stunning until we get inside. <gasps> Hotel experience prior to this was what? Very, very little. I mean, none. I was... No, none. I, none. So, year one, what was the profit? We lost about $350,000 the first year. Year two? $250,000. Profit? Loss. Loss. So we're in for $600,000 within 24 months of business. Who's funding this? Well, um, my mom and dad have Us. put in several hundred thousand dollars. Wow. Um, our children. Our children. Your children. Yes. Yes. Shay has put about $25,000 on credit cards. Shay is your... The oldest daughter. Oh, your oldest daughter, that. right. It's a chef's um, significant other. OK. And so my youngest daughter uh, just lent us $10,000. Your youngest daughter? She's in college. Was your house on the line next? Yes, it is up for sale. And we would live here. We would move on to the third floor. Where'd you draw the line and say, stop, this is not working? You're standing there like proud cock, very confident, very happy, and like nothing's gone wrong, but... Taking money from your daughter that hasn't even started I would one never foot ask her. on the path of her career? I believed that we would be able to turn it around. Oh, no, but John, I'm sorry. Your parents' money, your family's money, your daughter's money. I, I do have a positive attitude. There's a difference between sounding positive and sounding full of crap.